Nine of his points from behind the arc, and here is York. We'll almost trying to buy a foul here. Rozuski. Connell, in and out. Nice rebound. Johnson, they kick it back out. York, so good. He's so good when he gets his feet set, but McConnell made that happen for his eighth assist. A little draw and kick action. He missed that first three-pointer, got it back, and set up the teammate. That's a that, that's point guard mentality. Nine lead changes now. Grant Nelson going in with the bigs. That's a goal to There is, but the follow will go for Moreland. They were tied at 64. Derek Robinson ballistic on the sideline. Nine lead changes, nine ties, just about five to go. Johnson, too strong. Tarzuski over Brandt. That one won't go. Brandt tipped it alive. Here come the Beavers. Cook, Nelson, lurking. From three, in and out. Then Brandt steals it, jump ball. Nope. No, a foul on oh, Brandt. Don't be silly. Jump ball. <laughs> Jump ball. That would be the right call. Nonverbals. Craig Robinson speaking volumes. <laughs> that, that's Oregon State you're talking about. Ball comes out. Here comes Angus Brandt. I mean, looked like he had a lot of basketball. It's, it's a contact sport. You're going to get some, some incidental contact. It was interesting. Robinson's reaction on this call. I don't know if this replay is going to show it because at the top of the screen he turned his back to the court and just extended the arms to keep his team yeah. on the bench yeah literally from storming the the court well, brant will check out he tries to get the crowd into it tries to go a little wwe on us the crowd could be a big factor in the final 445 of this one tarzuski at the line won't go Another rebound for Moreland. Got a good offensive unit on the floor for Oregon State right now. Great shooter in Hollis Cook. Great post-up guy, Devon Collier, Roberto Nelson. Offensive rebounder and Eric Moreland. Oregon State will not go away tonight. They're going to work a little clock right here as we approach four minutes. I'm not sure if I like Collier out here kind of initiating the offense 25 feet from the bucket. Picks up the foul, but I think Oregon State forcing it on that play. But I can understand Craig Robinson. He's been double teamed on that left box, trying to change his positioning, make him a little bit more difficult to locate out on the floor. Tarzuski will pick up his fourth foul right now. So Tarzuski and Gordon with four for Arizona. Grant and Gomez with four for Oregon State. Collier with a chance to give the Beavers the lead. What has happened to the free throw shooting for both of these teams here late? Things getting tight, Marcus. Well, that's how you close deals. You know that. That's how you got you to make the plays down the stretch. That includes knocking down, especially the front end of one and one. Johnson. Low bounce ball. Tough one to handle. Scoop back up. Hollis Jefferson throws it out. Gordon, get some space. Didn't want it. He's afraid of picking up that fifth foul. Tough bucket for Miles Jefferson. And Eric Gordon thought about barreling into Eric Moreland, but, but thought better of it because he knew he'd fall out of the game if Moreland was able to establish position to pick up the offensive foul. Nice decision by the freshman Aaron Gordon. The freshman Rondé Hollis Jefferson yep. now with nine. Well, they got Rondy Hollis Jefferson back on the bench. He gives them that energy and that point production off the bench for Arizona. Moreland. They know who they want to get it to, number 55. And he has it. Nelson trying to create seven on the shot clock. Offense. Offensive foul. Offensive foul. Roberto Nelson whistled for the foul. He has been the offensive machine. A little put back there for the Beavers. Arizona on the other end responds. Number three, up two. When you switch to Sprint's new family plan, friends are like family. So who's going to be in yours? Let's get a sound guy and some roadies. But the more people you add, the lower the rate. How about Sketchy Jeff? 
It gets billed separately, right? Get up to 10 separate bills, and everyone gets unlimited talk, text, and one gig of data for as low as $25 a month each. Cool. One more. You need more beard. That'll do. The family plan from Sprint. With a new price, new plan, and an all-new network. Visit a Sprint store today. Are you OK, Mom? Yes, I am. Life insurance from New York Life can help your family keep good going. One car travels towards an intersection with wipers that streak and clog, while another travels towards the same intersection with wiper blades that don't let them see clearly. But between them, the Michelin Man with new Michelin Stealth Wiper Blades, a revolution in wiper blade technology, combining smart flex construction for superior windshield contact with proven hybrid blade design for clog-free performance in rain, ice, and snow, helping you steer clear for the road ahead. New Michelin Stealth Wiper Blades, a better way forward. Get your Michelin Wiper Blades at Walmart. Save up to 20% at Best Western with a swipe, a tap, or a click. Save up to 20% and enjoy free high-speed internet, a hot breakfast, and 1,500 rewards points. Only at bestwestern.com. When tyrants ruled the world... I'm your king. This all belongs to me. ...and wickedness ruled the hearts of men, one man fought for something more. Our family is a great task. We need to save the innocent. Did you think you could protect yourself in that? It's not protection from you. Your time is done. Noah in theaters and IMAX, March 28th. College Hoops fans, Ryan Field here with Oregon State alum and Hall of Famer Gary Payton. GP, you gotta like how your beavers are hanging in tonight. Oh, oh Ryan, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm a beaver fan. We can beat these teams, too. Well, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Uh, you are nervous. It's been a good game so far. Though, guys, I don't know what's been more exciting, the game or watching Gary Payton watch the game. <laughs> All the highlights coming up afterwards on Fox Sports Live. Robin Marcus, back to you. Hey, Glove. Glove, you still there? I'm still here. All right, my friend, what would you call coming out of this timeout right now? Play coach for us, Gary. For... Is it our ball? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not by the TV. I'm not by the TV. <laughs> you, you expect us to help you with that? No. They got a, they got a little defensive right in here. So you go, you go full court press, or do you sit back and defend? No, sit back and defend. Don't do nothing. Bring them, let them come to you. And then I'll, go, I'll go in the zone right now and see what happens. And then offensively, Gary, what would you do? Who, are you looking for Collier? Are you looking for Roberto Nelson? Who do you want to see with I'll the go basketball? I'll Collier in here. I'll go inside to the big man. Let him go to go to work. Glove, stay with us. Don't go far now, my friend. I want your insight here, all right? All right. McConnell. Out to Johnson. Go to the zone. What did I tell you? Yeah. Go to the zone, baby. Yeah. Go to the zone. Make him do something. Glove knows what he's talking about. Johnson gives up the dribble. Lofts it. McConnell. Get over the pick. Ten on the shot clock, Gary. There you Johnson. go. Good job, baby. Make the take a three, tough won't shot. Go. Take Rebound. a tough shot. Yes, get a rebound. <laughs> so Moreland with the rebound, Gary. Go into side. Go inside, baby. Don't take no jumpers. Go inside. Tag the basket. Instead, it's Nelson. Tag He'll drop the a basket. jumper. Give it to him. Give it to him. Nelson drops it. Turnover. Not a smart play. Jump in the air, try and throw a pass over an Aaron Gordon who is 6'9 and long. Yeah, Aaron Gordon with the steal. Glove, I know it's late. We remind you, be careful. Little PG audience here tonight with the emotion. Yeah. You're good so far, but I, I sense one brewing. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it clean, baby. <laughs> Come on. We got it. Arizona got it. up stay, two, stay under there. two to go. Stay there. Step out, step out. Zuzki nice. strips. Wow. And a whistle on the floor. I tell you something, Gary. Oregon oh, State has not gotten a break this whole game I, in terms of calls. Marcus, I've seen that. They, they've been getting all the bad calls. Even one when he got a, a tie up. They, they shouldn't even call that a foul. So Gomez picks up his fifth foul, and he is done. Bad call. I like this young man, Daniel Gomez, out of Senegal. I mean, he's active. He's got a big, big, strong upper body, quick off his feet. That's what being number three means. Get all the calls. To the arm, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Gomez out. Have he scored two points. Also chipped in with two boards. Mm -hmm.
Alejandro Tarzuski, as we talked about, a great free throw shooter this season. He's been uh, bothered by the home crowd here. Last couple times at the line, five for seven tonight. Oops! Little Miller having to do a lot of coaching tonight. Cheeks getting a little tight on Tarzuski. Tarzuski gets the second to go. We've been in tight contact with the sensors, and they're a little nervous <laughs> for Gary tonight, so they decide to, to quiet his mic for now. But it's hard to quiet the glove. He's coming up next. Let's keep that finger on that on second, Fox Sports second, Live. Seven second delay. Floor burn time, and guess what? Another foul on Oregon State. His bodies dive for it. Well, active hands by Arizona tonight. Well, it's active hands, active hands. But, but also uh, just taking care of the basketball, making the right play, basketball IQ. You know, Hollis Cook, I love him, a freshman, but he threw that first one away to Nick Johnson on the inbounds right there. Just a, a casual feed that allowed the deflection and then takes the legs out from underneath Rondé Hollis Jefferson. 15 Beaver turnovers tonight. In fact, they've turned it over on their last three possessions. Rondé Hollis Jefferson to the free throw line, where he's shooting 25% tonight. Arizona's gonna do what they do. What they do is defend about as well as anybody in the country. Yeah, especially in second half. They're outscoring opponents by eight points in the second half, holding them underneath 30% from the three-point line, about 38% from the two-point line. Five-point advantage. And the number one team in the country in adjusted defensive efficiency. Grant trying to get it to Nelson, and there'll be a foul on McConnell. A little too much contact with Nelson. Arizona Little dribble handoff, DHO. And right there you see the reach and the hold and the grab by McConnell trying to impede the progress of Roberto Nelson. McConnell having a little conversation right now with Nelson right now. Nelson missed two out of three when he had the, the foul against the court on the three-pointed tip. He's trying to get into his head a little bit. Eight of his 22 tonight from the free throw line. What has happened to Nelson? He's lucky they get whistled for a foul right there. Yeah, he gets himself out of position. Johnson trying to draw one on Moreland. This crowd just went quiet. Arizona up five, approaching a minute left. You know, making plays. Hollis Cook with the turnover. Roberto Nelson with the three missed free throws here down the stretch. That the front end, front end of a one and one. And you'd want the senior on the free throw line. If you had your druthers, he's the guy you're picking. 84 percent, or you know you do. Johnson, fall away, won't go. Orland, strong rebound. He didn't miss all those free throws. Didn't come down and hit a three. Nelson, caught in the air. No no contact. No call. Under a minute to go. He needs help quickly. Cook. Greg Robinson may need a timeout to try and... Back to Nelson. 18 on the shot clock. Tough three ball. Way short. Grant saves it. Kicks it out. Cook. A little ahead of himself. 10 on the shot clock. 30 seconds on the game clock. Cook. Swiped. Wow. Oh, this team is so good defensively. Hollis Jefferson fouled. Making plays. I mean, right, uh, Roberto Nelson thought about the three ball. Defense collapsed. Couldn't get a good look. Hollis... Cook wasn't ready to shoot on the catch and shoot. Couldn't get a good look. And then once he penetrates, watch Ronde Hollis. Jefferson right there, Chester, Pennsylvania. Give me that. Take it hard to the hole. Get to the free throw line. Marcus, it's more than just making plays. It's making plays when it matters. Yeah. Down the stretch here, winning time. And that's what the great teams are able to do, and we're seeing it right here as clear as mud. Another close loss brewing right now for Craig Robinson and company. And look, make no mistake, these Arizona guys, Gordon, Johnson, Karzewski, Jefferson, they're McDonald's All-American. I mean, these are the top players in the country, and it shows here down the stretch. Lee cuts a five, quick timeout. Now, if you're Craig Robinson, you got to play the foul game quickly. You don't have the, the benefit of being choosy and picky about who you foul. Marcus, time now for the Staples Make More Happen. Player of the game, 
And we go to Nick Johnson, the junior from Gilbert, Arizona. 22 points tonight to lead his team. Eight of 18 from the floor, three of six from behind the arc. Also with five boards and four helpers. And you saw a great steal on the inbounds play against the freshman Hollis Cook. And then the little short corner eight footer when the game was still in balance. That was a tough shot by Nick Johnson. This one's not quite done yet, but it's awfully close. A shade under 18 to go. Arizona clinging to that five point lead. Free throw shooting or lack of productive free throw shooting really hurting the Beavers late in this one. Free throw shooting and, and, and decisions and turnovers and casual passes, but it's a it's a learning process. But you know, the, the more victories you've had, had enough of if you're Craig Robinson and his Oregon State team. Johnson will go to the free throw line to try and add to his total of 22 already. And Crenshaw High School where I played, we had a motto. Ain't no such thing as moral victories. Up next for Arizona. Go just south of Corvallis to Eugene to take on an Oregon team that's now won six straight and has played themselves into the NCAA tournament conversation rotation. Mighty Fox Sports Live coming up next. We had one huge upset in college hoops tonight. Looks like Arizona is going to avoid a second. That one short from Johnson. Vincent talk about Craig Robinson being on, on the hot seat. I don't, I don't buy that. I think he's got this program headed in the right direction. This is a, a program that hasn't been into the tournament since 1990. Got some good recruits coming in. One of those, Gary Payton Jr. The mitten instead of the glove. The mitten coming in. He'll throw into a glove. <laughs> Two possession game here. Nelson from three. Too strong. He'll get another nibble on this one. Instead, he'll take the foul and go to the free throw line. Stop the clock. 8.8 .8 left. Arizona foul number 11, Aaron Gordon. Fifth personal foul. So Gordon fouls out. Healy's with eight points. Rather subdued effort from him. He had to deal with a lot of foul issues tonight, obviously. When I played with the Milwaukee Bucks, we were watching film of the Atlanta Hawks and Doc Rivers blew by Mike Dunleavy Sr. Don Nelson just kind of looked at him, got on him, blew by him again. Don Nelson kind of looked at him, got on him. When he blew by him the third time, Don Nelson said to Mike Dunleavy with a cigarette in his mouth on the team meeting, hey, he's just better than you. And sometimes that's what it boils down to. Arizona is just better then Oregon State. Give Oregon State a lot of credit. They, they battled. But hey, Arizona's just better than you. We talked about the McDonald's All-Americans in the starting lineup for the five guys on the floor. Johnson with the rebound, and then he's fouled. By taking another little late glancing hit. Oregon State foul number 13, thanks to Morris Walker. When I look at teams with the championship potential, this Arizona team is definitely one. I mean, Kansas with Embiid and Andrew Wiggins, these teams with these lottery picks in their starting lineups, it's all about talent in college basketball. Coaching, yes, I mean, you need a great coach and all that, but I don't care how great of a coach you are, if you don't have the talent, you know, you're not gonna get to the destination. One of the big talents on the bench tonight for Arizona, Brandon Ashley. His first road trip since that foot injury suffered on the 1st of February. He had surgery about three weeks ago. He said he wanted to do it. Important for him, important for the team to get him back with the size. He's in great standing academically, so able to make this trip. Ask Coach, hey, any chance he comes, somehow comes back this season? A definitive no. But a definitive yes in the win column tonight for Arizona. Hey. And that's all she wrote. Yep. Yeah. Hey, they're just better than you. Good 74, effort, though. 74, 69, your final. Arizona, they improved to 28 and 2, 15 and 2 in conference play. The Beavers dip to 15 and 14. Fox Sports Live coming your way right now. Welcome everybody to Fox Sports Live. Not the outcome that GP wanted in that <sighs> one. A tough loss for you, buddy. Yeah, we we do it all the time. We hurt ourselves by free.